Should a Christian get tattoos? Ready. Rally up. one of the most controversial questions in the Christian world. And I know that regardless of the answer that I give you, a lot of you guys are going to be dissatisfied, might dislike the video, but that's okay. I'm going to give you my honest assessment about whether a Christian should or could get tattoos. So the verses that are in question is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28 and i'll read it to you leviticus chapter 19 verse 28 says you shall not make any cuttings into your flesh for the dead nor tattoos any marks on you i am the lord so right then and there those who are against people getting tattoos they use this verse and the case is closed no markings no tattoos on your body the thing is is that why did God disallowed or not allowed markings on the body? It was because other cultures would mark their bodies uh, in bereavement for the dead. So when they were mourning the dead, oftentimes other people from other cultures or in ancient times would make deep cuts on their body, on their skin, to show that they were mourning. God uh, did not allow the Israelites to do that. The second thing that we see here with the idea of tattoo any marks on you is that many times the marks that the people of previous cultures were making on their body were done in a manner for to worship a different God or a false God. How can I prove this? Well, what you see in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27, which is the verse previous, is that you shall not shave around the sides of your head, nor shall you disfigure the edge of your beard. Now, many of us love to get haircuts, and me, myself, I love to get skin fades. Now, why would God disallow us from get, or not allow us to get skin fades? It wasn't that God was telling the people of Israel what type of style of hair they should maintain. It was because other cultures during this time uh, would worship their gods or drew the manner of haircut that they had. And I can prove it to you because at the end of the verse, the God said, says, I am the Lord. He's here reasserting the fact that he is God and none of these other gods that the other, go that the other countries are were worshiping were worthy of any praise. If you don't believe me, we see this in Deuteronomy chapter 14, verses 1 and 2, where it says, you are the children of the Lord, your God. You shall not cut yourselves nor shave the front of your head for the dead. For you are a holy people to the Lord, your God. And the Lord has chosen you to be a people for himself. Again, God is explaining the reason why he was not allowing for people to cut themselves. And the reason why he was not allowing for people to cut the sides of the head. Because other cultures had associated with their gods. And God had chosen the people of Israel to be his special people, a people for himself, a special treasure above all the people who are on the face of the earth. You see, God was putting a priority and setting his people apart. Now, Jonathan, what about when God says that we are temples of the Holy Spirit? Again, this verse is oftentimes used to showcase and to prove that one should not get a tattoo. Well, I would say that I, oftentimes this verse is used out of context. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 to 20, we see what is God, what is Paul referring to? You see, in verse 18, it says, Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits immorality sins against his own body. You see, God is talking about here the sins of fornication, the sins of, the sins of sexual morality, the sins of lust, these sins that happen against our own bodies. Or, which is verse 19, which now you see the natural flow of it. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God and you are not your own? 
for you were bought at a price, verse 20. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You see, again, the body was made to be a temple of the Holy Spirit. And yes, we can make the argument about tattoos, but at the same time, I also want to say that we should be making the argument about our own physical health. You see, many Christians and do not keep their physical health or well-being, uh, even though we claim to be temples of the Holy Spirit. You see, the Bible put value in physical health. Why? Because we are temples of the Holy Spirit. And because our physical health is very much intertwined with our emotional and mental health as well. You see, so when we're not prioritizing our physical health or when we're stressed out, when God tells us specifically what? To not be stressed out and lay our burdens onto Him. When we are not getting enough sleep, when we are choosing to be gluttonous in the way that we eat instead of eating healthy or living rightful, right lives before God, we ourselves are not being the best temples for the Holy Spirit as well. That's the same argument that I can make. So Jonathan, what are you telling me? Are you telling me that I should get a tattoo? No, not necessarily. You see, the reality is that even though everything is permissible, doesn't mean that everything's beneficial. And there's a reason why this is something that I do not need to condemn, but I don't necessarily approve of. Why? Because oftentimes what happens is, is that when we do get a tattoo, it does defeat or it does make it harder for us to witness to other people. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that oftentimes because this topic is so controversial, it is better left for us to deny ourselves, even if we may want to have a tattoo, because of the people around us, we don't want to be a stumbling block for them. You see, for me in my personal ministry, if I were to go and get tatted up, um, what would happen is, is that people would focus more on my tattoos than my actual ministry. Or people will focus on, did you see that Jonathan uh, started getting the tattoo? Do you like his tattoo? The, they will focus more on myself and my and the what I'm inked, uh, me being inked up, rather than what the words are coming out of my mouth. So that's one of the reasons why I am not a person that personally can go and say that I would get a tattoo. The second reason is that many times people who get tattoos regret what they get because our minds, our mindsets are constantly changing. So what you like at the age of 18 or 17 or 16 is not going to be what you like at the age of 25 or 30 or 35 or 40. As you age and you change in your likes and your interests, the thing that you have inked on your body, that is something that is even though it's not permanent, it's very difficult to get rid of. It is actually very difficult and very diff and very expensive to get rid of. So when we ink up or we decide to put tattoos on our body, it, be it becomes something that we have to live with for the rest of our lives. So that's another reason why we need to think before we actually decide to ink up if that is something that you choose to do. And then lastly, you want to make sure that it is a thing that is that your church, that you're personally going to, will not condemn you for. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is don't go and say, you know what, my church will condemn me for having a tattoo, so I'm going to leave my church and I'm going to find a church that's going to not condemn me. No, God put you in your specific church for a specific reason. But if you know that what you're going to do is going to upset your brothers, is going to go against what your pastor is doing, or uh, what your pastor, what your pastor has uh, commended for you to do in your church, then what you're actually going to be doing is that you are going to be living in sin because you are deciding to go against to what your pastor um, has commanded you. You see, we have to be obedient to the leaders that God has put in our lives. We have to be obedient to what they tell us because they are in charge and they have a responsibility for us in front of God. So we must make their lives easier by being obedient to what they tell us to do in terms of the gospel. Now, my brothers and sisters, for those that are willing to get a tattoo, for those of my brothers and sisters that are already inked up, um, I do not condemn you. However, I do say to be very careful and use the spirit of discernment 
Um, there's a lot of people who start off with getting one tattoo and they end up having a whole bunch of tattoo. Also remember that our world keeps pushing the agenda. 10 years ago, getting a face tattoo would have been the last thing in the world. And now it's something that's commonplace, face tattoos, neck tattoos. It is something that people are more accepting of in the world. And is that something that is okay when, we ta when we're talking about ultimately ministering to a world that's lost? Is that something that we want to do or something that we want to keep in mind? So let's have the spirit of discernment. Let's discern between what is what is something that is acceptable in your conscience and what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. And what I would say is we have to be very uh, cognizant of being different from what the world is. So if the world is getting different tattoos about different idols. Um, for example, I know many people, I know people who've gotten tattoos for their favorite uh, idol, their favorite, uh, their, their favorite person in the world, their favorite sports icon. You're idolizing this thing onto your body because what you're saying when you get a tattoo of an, of an athlete or a person, or, you're saying that this thing is worthy of being on my body, which is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So let's be very careful for those that do believe that having a tattoo is okay. Now, my brothers and sisters, for those that do have tattoos, I do not condemn you. And for those that are against tattoos, I am not admonishing you to change your stance. What I will say is, is that we do have to recognize that not everything is permissible in our lives. For me, myself, I wouldn't personally get a tattoo, but like I said before, I wouldn't condemn you if you did get a tattoo. With that being said, let us pray. Father God, we come before you. I know that we have brothers and sisters with different opinions on this topic, but I, I pray that we can all come together, that we can have healthy discussion, healthy uh, disagreements, and understand that we're still the one body, uh, we're still one church, and that we all are brought together by your love, and we are all brought together by the fact that you're, you have come down to this earth, you came down to this earth, and you died on the cross to be resurrected and that your blood uh, is, covers us from a multitude of sins, God. So I pray and I thank you for that. And I pray that my brothers and sisters that are going to get a tattoo or are thinking of getting a tattoo have discernment uh, and recognize whether it, it may be the best look for them in their ministry or maybe not. That they may put that whatever decision they're going to make in prayer. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, I know that this comment section might be a little heated. I do wish you guys to be PG. We're going to have people from different viewpoints in the comment section. But let me know what you guys think. Can a Christian get a tattoo? Can a Christian not get tattoos? Um, also, I want to remind you guys that we drop a video every Wednesday. And we're also having a live stream on Sundays. Uh, it's called the It's In The Word podcast. Uh, and also, it's very laid back. And it's something that you can feel free to ask any question about the word and we'll try our best to answer you remember guys to uh be blessed be safe and remember that god loves you all